Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi. We're looking at question number eight. For which set of data would the median be best to describe the data? A, the selling price of a gallon of gas. B, the ages of all the people in your family, including your grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. C, the sizes of suits sold in a men's store. D, the sandwiches sold for lunch in one day. So when you're asking yourself, what is the most appropriate measure of central tendency when the data has outliers? The answer would be the median. Why? Because if you have outliers, it can distort the data. Let's take a look at a spreadsheet that I created to help you understand this a little bit better. So what I did is I took each answer, answer choice. So they mentioned gas prices, ages of family members, suit sizes, and sandwiches sold in one day. And I made a little spreadsheet. And over here I have it so that whatever number I put in here, it automatically calculates. These are the measures of center, mean, median, and mode. And we want to pay attention especially to the median and compare it to the mean. Because, um, you know, even though they didn't say why would we choose the median over the mean in this case, um, we, that's something we do have to consider. So um, I looked up some gas prices in the colony area, and um, I was surprised to see that they're still pretty high. Um, there's one that's right up the street from school that's $4.60. So I just put in a bunch of hypothetical amounts that I saw online, and uh, th this is what I came up with for the mean and the median. So is it likely that we would have an outlier there? Is it likely that we'd find that one gas station that was either giving it away or selling it at a really high price? Not likely. That Prices should be pretty close to each other in the colony area. How about ages of family members? Now, this is a situation where we could easily have an outlier. So let's say we have all the, um, the children in the family. So we have a little seven-year-old, and then we have um, you as a sixth grader, and you're 12, and then you have your older, older sister who's 14. So, so far, we haven't put in mom yet or dad, but it's showing that the median is 12. But let's throw in mom who's 39. Let's throw in dad, that's 41. Okay, so look at how things change a little bit with the median. So would we ask ourselves, is 14 a, a good reflection of the ages of the folks in the household? But what if we throw in like grandma? Let's throw in grandma or even great grandma. Great grandma is 98 years old. Let's throw great grandma in and see what happens to the data. Now in this case, which one is more reflective or a better summary of the folks that are in the house, so the typical ages in there. So when we have an outlier, then we do typically prefer using the median in those kinds of situations because the mean can be thrown off by an outlier. All right, so let's look at, let's look at, let's make sure that it includes all the data and it does. It includes all the data and it does. All right, so what about suit sizes in a clothing store? And I wanna say that they were talking about men's suits, right? men's clothing store, they were. So um, I try to come up with some hypothetical suit sizes, 34, 44, 40, 38, and there's not really a good chance of an outlier there. And sandwiches sold in a day, that's really unclear the way they worded it, because I, do they mean the quantity of sandwiches or the actual type? Sounds like they're talking about categorical data to me. So roast beef, roast beef, turkey, chicken salad, we can't even really collect numeric data on that. We can only just state how many of each we might have. So um, again, we're not looking at a situation where we might have an outlier. So in review, let's read this again. What is the most appropriate measure of central tendency when the data has outliers, which we just said, ages of people in a household, you'd be very likely to have some outliers in there. That's when you would choose the median as being the preferred measure of center. Why? Because those outliers can distort the data.